Um, so I changed up my talk a little bit. I'm actually giving the introduction to time-space manipulation via quantum state repolarization of the emotional spectrum that Big Pharma doesn't want you to know about. <laughs> and of course, so this may seem a little weird, but I can guarantee you it's really, really good because we're endorsed by Richard Dawkins. Not actually, don't tell him that I said that. He would not like that. <laughs> Anyway, so you might be asking, what the hell is this guy doing? So I'm talking about woo science, which if you don't know, it's a particular type of pseudoscience that's really or per ugh, it's really common. Um, and what it is, is it's bad science, which is just not science. Um, and it has a persecution complex. And so it makes sense for people who are in a lot more danger, who need something to believe in, because there's a reason why this isn't out there. And so we have people like Kevin Trudeau, um, who says, the big pharma doesn't want you to know about, big science doesn't want you to know about, the various things. But then this is so common, anything quantum, anything magnet. Um, and these are usually going after people who are the most vulnerable, the people who are dying of a life-threatening illness. Because it makes life easy. It means that there's one simple problem to, or one simple cure to all of your problems. There's a magic bullet that's just going to make everything better. Um, so this, this affects me because my mom has been dying for a very long time of a very awful illness. And so first we had lots of science-y people who give us technobabble, like Star Trek. And I was a sci-fi person, so that was really gave me a lot of hope, because things are always good in Star Trek. That being said, there's one really big difference between Star Trek and real life. In Star Trek, it's perfectly okay to have suspension of disbelief. It's perfectly fine to say, okay, it doesn't make sense, but there are people talking, it's good enough. But when we have people like Dr. Oz, going on and saying, oh, you just need to have higher fiber diets and that will make your leukemia go away. It makes real health problems. And so the other way that people will do magic bullets is with ancient wisdom. And it's fun because ancient wisdom is also a brand of essential oils. <laughs> fun fact, also don't do anything. Um, so it's lying the premise though that civilizations, the greatest technology was making stone tablets are somehow superior to us when we have iPhones? Does that make sense? No, of course it doesn't make sense, because it's bullshit. Am I allowed to swear? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> so the other way that people exist in this um, is by just being really, really vague. And so they'll use words like toxins and energy. So I'm a scientist, to I'm a biologist. Toxin is the broadest term that you can use, except for fucking energy. If someone is not able to be more specific, it's wrong. Otherwise, the most amazing thing that came up with, natural? So if you notice, that's actually poison ivy. You don't want that. You don't want poison ivy, you don't want arsenic. Natural means nothing positive. It's bullshit that it's even around as a word. And so I've always also wondered, when they're talking about not natural, are there, are there angels doing it? Like, is, are there witches brews when we have the not natural food? Is that what's going on? I, sorry, that's kind of a weird topic. Also enjoy supernatural, I've never seen it, but eh, eh? <laughs> and so the other way that people say is that we're leveraging the science that's already there. We're almost to like the pinnacle of science. I'm the scientist that made it work. Because of course, ma -na 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 -na, miracle occurs. That's me, right? No, Deepak Chopra is wrong. We have good science, but that's not it. Otherwise, Deepak Chopra, authority. Dr. Oz, authority. These are people who have a lot of recognition, a lot of name recognition, and they are on a national stage. So people assume that they're doing a good job. They're not. They're lying to you. They'll kill you. But, of course, Deepak Chopra talks a lot about the conspiracy, right? That he's, trying to, he's being kept down by big pharma, by big medicine, by big science. But it's bullshit, because conspiracy is the easiest way to remove liability from yourself. Because when everyone else is keeping me down, that's why I can't succeed. Now, there are two types of conspiracy. There's the one where it's big science is like doing it for themselves. Otherwise, if I talk about it, they'll come after me. And, you know, when men in black are coming after you, I'll believe you then. Until then, you actually have to present evidence. So you're probably asking, what can I do? Well, unfortunately, I can do very little, because I spend most of my time buying sweater vests. <sighs> But what can you do as a Dragon Con person to prevent this? You can talk about things, you can do research, but more importantly, you can talk to your friends when they are doing bad things, when they're using bad signs, when they're buying copper bracelets. And unfortunately, they are going to go about and be like, how do you know this? How do you have proof? And unless you're actually doing that research, you don't. So you actually do have to do your own research, which is kind of sucky. But there are lots of amazing online resources to be able to help you with this. We have scientists that publish. We have amazing scientists and technology people. And so many of them are right here. Sorry, my timing is just a little off. So many of them are right here. <laughs> and professionals who know what they're doing and qualified amateurs who also know what they're doing can help you to avoid falling for these bullshit ideas. 
But you have to ask, you have to do research, and you have to do work. Because your health is important. These things are important.